I'm going to show you exactly how to use YouTube itself to find new content ideas for your own channel. Not only that, I'm going to show you how I use YouTube's own data to get new content ideas for myself, as well as how to see what's relevant in my niche right now. And these can be some of the fastest, most efficient ways for coming up with new content ideas, as well as getting really clear on your next content piece. First of all, we know that video ideas that worked really well for other channels are probably going to work for our channel as well. So one of my favorite ways to find content ideas that will get a lot of views is by going to look at videos that already got a lot of views by other channels in my niche. So we're going to look at Nick Nimmin's channel and there's a lot of great content ideas that I can pull from. So on his channel, we're going to come over here to videos and then we're going to click on popular. And these are the videos that got the most views on Nick Nimmin's channel. So right here, I can just look at the different types of videos that he's posting. So how to add a thumbnail to YouTube videos on iPhone and Android or YouTube settings you should know about or these four things will get your YouTube channel deleted. Now all of these videos have millions of views, so they're obviously great ideas for my own channel. But a great question to ask right now is, are they still getting viewed? And we can find that out through a Chrome extension called vidIQ. And since I have vidIQ already installed on my browser, I can find out with these videos which ones are still being seen today. So this video, how to add a thumbnail to YouTube videos, it says 3VPH. And if I hover over it, vidIQ says views per hour. So that right there tells me this video is still relevant and still being seen three times every hour. And vidIQ is a simple Chrome extension that you can download for yourself. There's a free version, there's a paid version, and for this example right here, I'm actually using the free version. But I can see right here, this video is getting three views per hour. This video is not being seen right now, and neither is this one. But we still know that all of these videos did really well because the number right by the VPH is another score that vidIQ is actually given. So this one's been seen 111 times more so than the average video on his channel. And another really cool feature that vidIQ actually has is up here, you can click on this button right here, and it'll actually show me the trending videos. So what I can learn by clicking on the trending videos tab is what videos are still being seen today. So this video was actually posted three years ago, and it's still being seen over 33 times every hour. And even for this video down in the corner, new YouTubers should focus on these things in 2024. So this video was posted 23 days ago, and it's been seen 28,000 times. So obviously it was relevant enough to be seen thousands and thousands of times, but it's getting 15 views per hour versus the video up here that is still getting 33 views every single hour. But obviously these videos did well for a reason and it could have been the thumbnail, it could have been the title, it could have been the content itself. And it's probably a combination of all the above. So what we can do with all of this information is just make sure we write it down, save it for later and come back and pick our content idea. And if we pick one that's similar to his, we make it different, we make it better, we make it our own version. Now, another way to come up with content ideas using YouTube itself is to use the search bar within YouTube. But this strategy comes with a twist that most people don't share. And you'll see that here in just a second. So I'm just gonna come up to the search bar itself and I'm gonna type in one or two of the main keywords for my channel. Now once I type out a couple of keywords for my channel, so content ideas for example, YouTube's actually gonna auto-populate how they think I'm going to end this phrase. So content ideas for YouTube or content ideas for Instagram, for TikTok, and so on and so forth. But something else you notice are these numbers over here. And so what that is, is actually another Chrome extension called Keywords Everywhere. And what Keywords Everywhere is gonna tell me is the volume per month that this is being typed in to YouTube. So content ideas for YouTube is being hit 1600 times a month. Content ideas in general, 8100 times a month. Or for Instagram, 1300. Or content ideas for TikTok, 880. But with the Keywords Everywhere Chrome extension, it will give me the volume per month. It will actually give me a cost per click and even some trending data over the last 12 months. But here's the key. If people are trying to put it into the search bar, that means they're trying to figure out or learn more about that particular topic, which could turn out to be a great video idea for your next video. Another thing you can do with the search bar up at the top is after you've typed in your one or two main keywords, you can start using the alphabet to see if there's any other topic that's not actually shown in this drop down menu. So you can actually go through the alphabet and maybe I'll type in A and then B and then C 
And it's actually gonna give you a whole variety of different topics that may not show up originally. And with this strategy, you can actually go through the entire alphabet. And once you've done that, you can actually come back to the search bar and type in an underscore and then a space. And what that's gonna do is show you if there's any searches that are actually showing up in front of your keyword or keywords. And so if I look down here, I have YouTube content ideas or new content ideas, Instagram content ideas. And sometimes these may be the same, sometimes they're gonna be different. And that may actually give you leverage in terms of how you name your video later once you come up with your content idea. You know that people are typing it in a very specific way and you may actually include that phrase in the title of your video.